Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. To those of you who are new here, thank you so much for choosing to click on my video and watching my content. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much to all those people who hit the subscribe button because recently we hit like 45 subscribers and I'm just so happy and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. With that being said, let's just begin today's video. Jabudaya, what are you doing here? I'm focusing. Can you not see that? I can see. Like, what are you doing with the candle exactly? I'm focusing on the lit here. You mean the wick? Yes, that exactly. Okay, Jabudaya, stop it. You're going to get your eyes burned. I can't stop. Yes, you can, Jabudaya. No, I cannot. You don't understand. I have to focus and keep focusing. What just happened? Anyways, what I was saying was I was just casually looking for content on Instagram and I was just looking and looking and looking and I came across content. I came across some content where they teach you how to be a better man or one of those alpha mans whatever those people call themselves. So I just kept on scrolling more and more and more and cringed myself to death so that you don't have to. And then I started noticing this recurring pattern of vagueness and lack of information and utter foolishness. For example, I came across this page called Way of Gods. Where they basically teach you and give you a lot of examples how you can be a better man and how, can, how you can turn your life upside down by just mere following these examples and their tips. For example, with this reel over here, they are telling the rare green flags in a woman that you should look for. Number one is loves her parents there is nothing wrong with that don't get me wrong but you know there are a lot of people who might have been through traumatic experiences in their childhood and there are a lot of people who don't have the privilege to have a childhood with their parents also there are people who live in foster system what about them why are you excluding those people they didn't do anything wrong maybe they are very nice people you should include them what is this example? This just does not make any sense. The second one is just my favorite. It just sends chills to my spine. Submissive to you. What does this mean? What does this exactly mean? I have no idea. I do not understand English clearly. And you know what? I have been seeing the recurring pattern. Like whenever you see these examples, rare green flags or things a woman should do how a woman should behave there's always mr if i'm not wrong it's mr andrew tate in the background with a woman dancing as you move further down the list this is just as menacing as a rat in the house look at the third example never flirts with other men i'm pretty sure i'm pretty okay yeah this is true and this is the i think this is the bare minimum that anyone should do in a relationship but the kind of post there are there on this page i'm assuming that if a woman who is in a relationship if she just goes up to a man or any or or her friend in her friend circle and just compliments him about his jacket you will consider that as flirting even though she does not mean to be flirtatious excuse me i think there's something on your jacket oh thank you what are you doing i was just telling him that there was something on his jacket you're flirting oh it, there was something on his jacket base flirting um there... base flirting not revealing her body on social media 
why like if you have a social media page you're on a beach you would want to like why not you would click pictures in a bikini or a bathing suit or whatever you're wearing what is that why is that a red flag or a green flag i don't understand this point at all if she's a berry let her be a berry why does it even matter and when you will go to their page and see these posts you will just be rattled with all these new questions and utter vagueness about what do you exactly mean because that's what happened to me i was just left with more and more and more questions and no answers because i tried to find answers and i didn't get any so that was a huge bummer for me look at these god's rules for example the first example is lift weight what what, what does this mean how much weights what kind of weights which which gym what time what day what hour i'm just rattled with more questions and i don't have any answers now do i and there are no people asking these questions as well so they are not replying create more what what create what does that mean what do you want me to create jubudaya what are you doing i'm creating more more what jubudaya i'm creating more chaos jubudaya is literally 2 in the morning why are you doing this right now you don't understand me get out of here woman jubudaya did you watch one of those videos again i told you not to watch them at night stop interrupting me woman It's just this is just not helping me because I came to this page for self improvement and what I'm getting in return. Nothing. And their list just keeps on getting worse and worse and worse. I mean the third example is consume less. What exactly does that mean? See more questions. I'm not getting any answers here. It could be anything, literally anything. Consume less screen time, less peanuts. consuming less rabbits not running around rabbits that much consuming less frogs consuming less hats consuming less glasses consuming less flames the list is just there i don't know what what exactly are you asking me to consume less of and then there is stay focused just need my binoculars and then i'm good to go think long term as well i got that covered Now the next is choose discomfort. What does that exactly mean of choosing discomfort? What exactly does that mean? Do I purposely want to go and put my foot in the gutter when I don't have to? What are you doing, Jabudaya? I'm choosing discomfort. But you are allergic to peanuts. Oh. Oh, this one is my personal favorite. always take the road least traveled of course oh my god it's time to choose now i'm at the pathway he asked me to choose the road that is less traveled but it looks a bit scary i don't want to go this way i mean i certainly cannot go this way because it has been traveled by everyone i think i should just go with this one please help me All right, yeah, I'm going to end this video here and thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched it, please feel free to leave any comments, any message, any feedback if you want to. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all those things and I'll see you next week. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.